This is part of a two-part special. Last time, I discussed the top five worst Spike episodes. If you want to watch it, the link is down in the description below. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Hello everybody, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, where today... Last time I had to tear apart a bunch of Spike's episodes, but when you really look at it, the vast majority of his adventures have been quite good. So it's finally time to give Spike the praise he deserves with my top 6 best Spike episodes. Once again, remember that this is just my silly opinion, and I would be thrilled to see your rankings down in the comment section down below. Also, please be aware that there will be minor spoilers in this list, but with that all out of the way, Let's get right into it. That was awesome. <laughs> Secret of my excess. Now, ever since this episode first premiered in season two, I really liked it. What really makes Secret of My Excess stand out against the rest of Season 2 is its animation and its comedy. In the first three or four seasons of MLP, they had a somewhat low animation budget. This meant that designs and animations were often reused. So as you can imagine, they came as a major sock when this episode included several new versions of Spike, which were not only completely unique to this episode, but were also very well animated. You can tell that the team dedicated a lot of time to working on his design and movements. The amount of time dedicated to the animation really lends itself to the comedy. They used a lot of very clever visual humor, which made the entire episode a joy to watch. Unfortunately, my biggest problem with this episode is the portrayal of Spike. From the moment that he started to become exceedingly greedy to when Rarity snapped him out of it, Spike remained virtually silent. This means that there was no character development in the episode outside of Spike became greedy and then he stopped being greedy. This seemed like a lot of lost potential to me. It seemed like the episode could be so much more. But other than that, Secret of My Excess was pretty good, which is why it earned the number 6 spot on this list. That was awesome. Inspiration Manifestation Surprisingly, my praises and complaints for this episode are almost exactly the same as Secret of My Excess. Once again, you can tell that the artist had tons of fun designing each of Rarity's individual transformations. And once again, this gives the animators tons of opportunities to put in great visual gags. But similar to the last time, one of the major problems of Inspiration Manifestation is the fact that Spike's character development is not the primary focus. But unlike last time where this was caused by flawed writing, this time it's caused by the fact that Rarity just completely steals the show. Her performance throughout the episode is absolutely hilarious. Finally, this episode brings up a point that I really have to explain. One of the big problems I've had with Spike episodes as a whole is that when Spike isn't starring in an episode, he's shown to be inherently good. But when he is starring in an episode, he's almost always shown to be inherently evil, which causes him to always seem out of character. Inspiration Manifestation is one of the few episodes where this isn't a problem. Throughout the episode, Spike is shown trying to do the right thing and help his friend in any way possible, which is why it gets the number 5 spot on my list. That was awesome. Power Ponies Now many of you will be wondering why this episode is so low on the list. I know it's great, you know it's great, pretty much no one denies that this episode is really good. Well, when I was making this list, I thought to myself, what really makes this episode so amazing? I eventually came to the conclusion that this episode is so good because 1. The equestrian take on the comic book world that many of us know and love is really entertaining to watch, 2. The maniac is a really cool villain, and 3. Seeing the main six as superheroes is not only really, really cool, but also really funny. There are many other reasons to love this episode, but the common theme is that none of them have anything to do with Spike. As I stated in my last video, I'm not a huge fan of episodes where Spike spends the whole time self-loathing, and Power Ponies is no exception. Since the writers really wanted to show off the Power Ponies and give Spike an entire character arc within 20 minutes, the plot and pacing got a little bit jumbled. As episodes go, it's pretty amazing, it's just not the best Spike episode, which is why it only gets number 4 on this list. Now everyone brace yourself, cause up next is my most controversial choice. That was awesome. Just for sidekicks. Now I know a lot of people really don't like this episode, but I think it's really good, and here's why. 
First of all, all the sidekicks were hilarious. Even Winona, the most generic and boring pet in animation history, made me laugh several times. And I know a lot of people really hate Angel Bunny, but I actually quite like him. Because this is one of the very few episodes that I thought actually really needed a villain. If the writers had chosen to just use normal animal shenanigans to further the plot, the moral would not have been emphasized enough, and the plot would have made a lot less sense. Plus, I can never really hate Angel Bunny, because he's almost identical to my dog Sparkle. But by far the biggest success of this episode is Spike. Once again, Spike is portrayed as being greedy, but unlike Secret of My Excess, he actually goes through a long story arc where he legitly learns the errors of his ways. At first, I expected this to be another Secret of My Excess, but it completely blew my mind when the writers actually handled the topic maturely and completely. This is definitely one of the best portrayals of Spike ever. Now, I have a legitimate question for the Brony community. Why do people hate this episode so much? It's very well written, it's hilarious, and its moral is amazing. I actually have no clue why. And that's why it undoubtedly gets the number three spot on this list. That was awesome. <laughs> Gauntlet of Fire. Now, I've always loved learning about dragon culture in MLP. We got a little bit of it in Secret of My Excess in Dragon Quest. But this was the first time we got a full episode dedicated to teaching you about dragon culture, which made it one of the most interesting episodes of Season 6. Second of all, this episode is really great because of the introduction of Ember. Not only is she really nice, but she helps redeem my least favorite episode in the series. Now, if you've watched my last video, you know I hate Dragon Quest with a burning passion, partially because of its racist undertones against dragons. Ember helps fix this problem because not only is she an awesome character, but she's also really intelligent and extremely nice. Thirdly, this jerk whose name I can't even remember finally got punished for all the horrible things he's done. And finally, I really like the portrayal of Spike. Once again, this is one of the very rare episodes where he's shown to be a good character. In fact, he even takes on a mentor role teaching Ember the values of friendship. Now, ever since the beginning of Season 5, I've thought that Spike should take on a mentor role. He spent so much time with the main six that he knows practically everything about friendship, and my wish was finally granted. Now, my one complaint with the episode is gonna sound a little hypocritical, but I thought Spike was a little too good. I'm all for a good Spike, but he had practically no flaws, so he pretty much became a Mary Sue. Other than that, I really liked the episode, which is why I got to number 2 on this list. Now before we get to number 1, let's do a quick recap of both lists. Number 11, Spike at Your Service. 10, Dragon Quest. 9, Owl's Well That Ends Well. 8, Princess Spike. 7, Equestria Games. 6, Secret of My Excess. 5, Inspiration Manifestation. 4, Power Ponies. 3, Gist for Sidekicks. And 2, Gauntlet of Fire. When I first watched Gauntlet of Fire, I instantly thought it was the best Spike episode ever, and that it was just barely missing out on being a top tier MLP episode. And then... That was awesome. The times, they are a changeling. It's kinda difficult to describe how great of an episode this is, but I'm gonna try. First of all, we have to talk about Thorax, the reformed changeling. He is my favorite new character from Season 6, just barely beating out Vapor Trail. I don't think the writers have ever created a character that's so relatable, sympathetic, and interesting to watch. Just the idea alone of a reformed changeling is so interesting and has so many possibilities that I'm surprised it took him this long to do it. And they even brought him back for the season finale! I just realized, this is a miracle! My Little Pony established a side character in one episode that wasn't a villain and actually remembered him in a later episode. Not just that, but they made him important to the plot. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I thought we would see a blue solar eclipse on Friday the 13th while ice skating in hell before something like this happens. And then we get to Spike. This is by far his best portrayal in the series ever. Similar to Gauntlet of Fire, Spike is shown to be inherently good in this episode, but unlike Gauntlet of Fire, he's actually a dynamic character who has flaws and learns from his mistakes. Spike is openly friendly to Thorax, but in a time of great stress, he betrays him. And unlike most Spike episodes, the conflict is actually justified. He has a legitimate reason to betray Thorax, he wants to protect his reputation. It's not a good reason, but it's relatable and a lot of people would do it in his position. A major complaint that I've heard people make is that they couldn't take the song seriously, but I have to wholeheartedly disagree. 
The song is beautiful. In fact, it's my second favorite song of the season just behind It's Gonna Work. I never expected that Spike would have such an amazing singing voice, and this episode was definitely the emotional high point of season 6. In fact, it's one of the emotional high points of the series. The pacing, comedy, and drama were all spot on, and this is the first episode ever that we're actually getting to learn about changeling culture. I could literally talk for hours about all the reasons I love this episode. Not only is it by far the best Spike episode ever, but it's one of the best episodes of MLP period. It definitely makes it my top 5 favorite episodes of all time. But what do you think? How would you rank Spike's episodes? Did you like the times they are a changeling? Did you like the season finale? Do you know why bronies don't like just for sidekicks? Leave a comment in the section below to let me know what you think. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye! Well, now that this is done, next week it's time for a Halloween special.